Hi everyone, I'm Tomasz Bunkowski from the System Redux dev team. Today we'd like to show you an extensive gameplay demo, including the first glimpses of brand new story content. But first, let's take a look at how we use the next-gen power to deliver an even more immersive vision of year 2084. For Observer System Redux, we've rebuilt and upgraded the visuals in practically every aspect. The game uses now improved assets, including 4K textures, new high-quality animations and models, as well as upgraded particle effects and simulations. We've also significantly increased the overall lightning quality across the whole game, with the support of HDR and ray tracing, and thanks to such effects as volumetric lights or global illumination, System Redux delivers a much more atmospheric and impressive depiction of the dark cyberpunk future. Last but not least, we take advantage of the SSDs to massively shorten loading times, so that they are mostly unnoticeable for the player. Of course, Observer System Redux will run a 4K resolution at 60 frames per second. Now, let's see the game in action. You play as Dan, a detective of the future able to hack into the minds of others in search for clues and evidence. During questioning. Emergency extraction procedures successful. Right now, you're on the trail of the serial killer, but the victim just died before you could finish your neural interrogation. To find your next lead, you must search the room the old-fashioned way. Yes. Synchrony injected. Strain level decreased. Well, well. You must be Helen. What else are we hiding in here? Jesus. And what might that be? This altar of affection marks the beginning of one of the new storylines added to the system redux. Her fearful symmetry, as this side case is called, tells a psychotic love story explored through the lens of the game's dystopian and transhumanist themes. Right now, however, Dan must find Helena. Lazarski 656210. We have a third victim. Time of death, about an hour ago. Starting forensic analysis. Multiple puncture wounds, a few inches deep. Your detective work is enhanced with two scanners. Helena Novak, wife of the previous victim. I mean, Novak. EM Visions lets you analyze electronic devices, while BioVision helps you pick up any organic traces and clues. The neural implants untouched. Warning. 
Attempting a necroneural connection is in direct violation of the Postmortem Observation Act of 2061. Authorization denied. Emergency override. Open maintenance panel. Let's fast forward a bit for the sake of this presentation. After the risky hacking of Helena's dead mind, Dan is closer to finding the killer, but starts to experience hallucinations. Disturbing visions, previously experienced only when hacking somebody's mind, begin to sip into the physical world, blurring the line between what's real and virtual, which is another of the important issues discussed in the story. Dan's just got a distress message from an unknown sender. If you follow this lead, it will start another of the new quests, Aaron Signal. These new cases are all designed to explore thought-provoking themes of a future that soon might become our present. But they are more than that. We are designing a full package along with new puzzles, game mechanics and mind-bending dream eater segments. With the code from the club, then can push forward after the killer. Is here. This concludes today's presentation, but stay tuned for future reveals of all the upgrades and new content we're working on. Observer System Redux comes to PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X later this year. Thank you for watching.